Jared Singerman here at the Arnold Classic Europe, standing here at the Power Fit Nutrition booth with Tony Freeman after his fifth place finish last night. Fifth place. Uh, before we even get going, I guess in case people don't know what happened, kind of bring everybody back. You're in very good shape. It's good, you know. You've been consistently in good shape. You get on stage last night thinking we're. You know, I thought you were going to be in third. What happens? I don't know. They gave me fifth. I have no idea what happened. Um, I was better at the night show than I was at the morning, so um, that that really made me confused. Uh, I, I use um, a tanning product that I don't normally use, and we all used it. And um, I didn't. I wiped most of it off. So I was like, maybe it was my color. <laughs> but then I was like, yeah, whatever. So I don't know, bro. That just really proves the point. You know, I, I, you ask anyone. People that just seen the show for the first time or someone that's doing it for 30 years, everyone's confused. We have zero format. We don't, no one knows what's going on. The athletes don't know what's going on. The audience doesn't know what's going on. So, I mean, that's all I'm saying. I mean, I don't really care. I don't want them to change the judging because it's almost impossible. So that's, actually the judging is actually fine. I just think that, you know, when I spoke of the five rules, I geared that towards the athletes. You know, somebody, go, if you haven't seen the video, go out and check it out. Five rules is on YouTube. Tony Freeman's simple rules for bodybuilding. A lot of these guys can't even hit the poses correctly. I mean, we're professionals, bro. If you if you couldn't catch in the NFL, you wouldn't be a receiver. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just feel all I want is just simple things so people on the outside world can respect us. That's really something because right now they're looking at us like freaking trolls and clowns. Okay, so on the Internet right now, when we put out the five rules before this, uh, before everything that happened, the debacle last night, People were saying, is Tony Freeman complaining? You yeah, know? But, but what am I saying? I mean, I'm complaining about what? All I'm mentioning is this is supposed to be special. If you had a donkey, you have a farmer, you had a donkey that can run faster than any horse on earth, guess what? They'll never let him in the Kentucky Derby because they have standards. Dog shows have standards. Freaking every, every, in order to be a successful sport, what happened to boxing? You know what I'm saying? Boxers used to be the highest paid athletes on earth. But when they start doing what they did, it, it's almost non-existent, except for in the Olympics. That's all I'm saying. I love, I've been doing this 25 years, and I don't care what they say or if they want, you know. First of all, they already have, the powers that be already have absolute power. There's no way, you know what I'm saying? So no, I'm not even trying to attempt to threaten that or to go against that. I actually don't mind the judging. I just feel like we're just up there randomly not knowing what the hell to do or what to go. Um, I mean, how they place us, the comparison. If Sean, okay, if Sean Ronan is winning, what, how, the, the person that gets second should be the closest thing to him. And the person that gets third is to be the closest thing to him. I mean, it's just setting the ideal as Sean Ronan. I mean, I mean, that's what it should be, but it's not even that. If they were to give us that, then we say, well, Maybe they just, that, they, that's the type of body that they want. But there was like five different, six different bodies in the top five. I mean, similar, but they weren't in order. You see what I'm saying? They were. So one of the things is, if you go look at the internet, after the, after everything happened last night, people started speculating. They started saying, is this because Tony Freeman has been complaining that he is being spanked? But I'm not complaining. About what? I don't really care about the placings. If you really, really listen. Now, I know the flex... It was a lot. I cursed. I, I, when I saw it, I was like, damn, I can't believe I cursed that much. But it was a lot of emotion. But if you listen to what I was saying, it's, it, call, it comes from experience. It's come from watching thousands of bodybuilding shows. That's where I came up with the five simple rules. Because you really can't manipulate it any other way. You have to just, if you want a standard, you'd have to set something really simple that everyone could follow so it wouldn't disrupt anything. It would only make it better. It would make it interesting to the fans. I mean, think about it as a fan. If you're watching the, the show and you see someone go over the line or not hit the pose or, or whatever that is, now you, you know what? You, you saw that. Now it's like, how did he win? Or no, how did he get third? Or, you know what I'm saying? So that's all. I'm not complaining. And, and if that is the case, if they want to punish me or if they think that I feel like I'm being spanked, I don't. I'm a grown-ass man. I, don't, I actually don't think that that's the case at all. I, I think these either. I think these European judges just are, you know, for whatever reason, they saw something different than, than I did. Or they, they make it personal. It's more, it's, it's personal, it's business, 
And, and, you know, like I say, this is objective sport. But we don't have to be subjected to bullshit. We could be subjective and have a standard at the same time. I mean, Miss America is subjective, but they have a standard. They all have to wear an evening gown. They all have to, you know what I'm saying? So all I want is just some basic stuff for the athletes to follow. If they say side tricep, everyone's doing side tricep at the same time, not waiting and pausing. I mean, because you can't really judge five different things at once. You, when you, the word focus means focus. So if everybody's doing something different, you can't be focused on what you're doing. That's all. I got to make a point for everybody out there. You notice Tony is not complaining. Like if I were Tony, I'd be saying, I'd be saying Robert Petrakowitz. I'd be saying Tony. I mean, you but you're not doing that. Foremost, Robert was in great condition. He was. He was. Structurally, that's, that's physically, a body. There's nothing he could do about that. Right. I agree. But he was in great condition, so I applaud him. But did he, I mean, can you come on? I mean. I don't really need a judge to know that I'm better than Robert. And Robert don't, you know what I'm saying? We, we, I'm sure we both agree on that. Um, Roly, I don't even want to, because everybody thinks I'm picking on Roly. I'm like, I really like Roly. Nice I one. met Roly when he was an amateur. Me and Roly are cool. All I was saying is how are you going to call him out and not call me out? Call us both out or call, don't call neither one of us out? That's all I'm saying. And is, is it my right to say that? I, I think so. Because I'll be damned if somebody else is in my position. But you place where you did at if the Olympia. Everyone else is thinking it. And you got somebody like Ed Nunn. Okay, you have Sean, right? Sean is like the the the, the um, number one at Wendy's, and then Ed is like the number two, and I'm like the number three. It's the same thing. It's just a bigger version. I'm a bigger version of Ed, and Ed's a bigger version. Of Ed Nunn was was all the way in the back. He was all the way in the back. So you see what I'm saying? It just doesn't make any sense. It's obvious that they're showing favoritism or whatever whatever the word you want to use for it. They're, they're picking people that. They want to pick and screw everybody else. Literally, that's what it looks like, sounds like, and feels like. Well, you heard it here from Tony Freeman, the X-Man, Aaron Singerman, rxmuscle.com. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Like, for, I, you know, I read the boards, too. Okay, yeah. And, like, all these guys who want to, you know, you got the negative dudes who want to just. Lots of those. Yeah. First and foremost, I'm a grown-ass man, so I'm not complaining. Right. I've been doing this for 25 years. I've established a foundation and a standard within myself. That's why I'm not walking around at 360 pounds trying to please a judge. You feel me? So I'm not complaining. I don't, there's nothing to complain about. I own my own company. I don't need this money. I don't need the body build. But I'm a fan. I love it. So until somebody steps up and says something, 10 years from now, they probably won't even be around. Just because, if okay, if Gatorade or Nike was to invest money into this sport, how fast would they pull their sponsorship last night? That's all I'm saying. And if you don't want it to go mainstream, okay, but every human being on the on the earth has a body. So it ain't, it's unavoidable. Bodybuilding is mainstream. They're just holding it back. And when I go all over the world, I'm mainstream, bro. Big time. So you just can't say bodybuilding's not mainstream. The people that they put out front, maybe not mainstream. And they may not be making the sport grow. They might be making themselves richer and whatever. But I'm trying to make the sport grow because I'm, I'm going to be successful. I'm already successful on my own. So that's it. Now, RX Muscle, Aaron, Tony, thank you. <laughs> there you go.